Uh, Sheldon, thank you so much for a ten dollars super chat. Uh, fight on from Louisiana. Do you guys uh, think we will get some of these big guys from the South since we got Coach Henny? Well, interesting you say that because this weekend, oh, actually, well, a couple of weeks ago we talked about it, but this weekend we did get some of those guys coming through. If you look at this, this so this is a great list that on three put together. Um, a nice little little graphic for you, but uh, you have uh, Dale McCutcheon from Texas. He's he's a receiver. Uh, but then, then look at the, then start looking at the beef. Brandon Brown was a guy I talked about a couple weeks ago when the first one well, of the first guys that Coach Henderson uh, went to go see. Coach Henny goes in there. He's a he's a commit to Texas. After leaving that in home visit, uh, it was when Brandon Brown booked uh, a, a visit to come out to visit USC. He came out and, and had an absolute great time. So if you're wondering, is is Coach Henny going to have some traction here? He's starting right away, and he's doing a great job with it. Uh, Jared Smith is, like, I believe, he's the number one edge rusher in the country. Uh, someone could correct me if I'm wrong on that, but you're, you're nope, probably talking. Correct. Is it correct? So he, he he's most likely going to be a you know, if you're a if top edge rusher, you're going to be a five star. Uh, and look down the list. You got you know Woodfork. He's 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 a, also a, a, a nationally ranked top sixty edge rusher. Then you get linebackers, a ton of linebackers. Ents must be putting in some serious work because uh, no, Mikhail, everyone in the world wants this kid. Just the, he's the one pictured right here, number three. Um, he will not be wearing Carson Palmer's jersey. However, uh, I could see a 55 on this kid if he gets it, if he gets it together right. Uh, and then um, Madden Faraimo, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing the name incorrectly, and Marco Jones, just linebackers. Linebacker and defense, um, has just been a, a a message that USC talked about again when he when Riley went on his little rant um, regarding uh, re regarding the the tour he went on. All he talked about was defense. I mean, it was really a big point. Defense, and they kept bringing it up. Um, obviously, they're they're going to talk to him about the offense a little bit, but it was really a message that he stayed on point about building defense. And if you look at it, this staff is going hard against the top players in the country. I don't think we're gonna get shut out like we did in California last year. Let's put it that way. One thing to note about uh, Jared Smith, the number one uh, edge rusher in the 2025 class, uh, Steve Wiltfong, you know, the, the national recruiting expert uh, for 247, says that uh, Smith was reportedly quote blown away by Eric Henderson's knowledge of the game. So Eric Henderson made a huge impact on Jared Smith. And so it goes right into Sheldon's uh, super chat uh, question. Do you think we'll get some of these big guys from the South? Because Jared Smith's from uh, Alabama, state of Alabama. So like, it certainly seems that, you know, Eric Henderson, he's going to land some uh, big time recruits before too long. It might be too late for the 2024 cycle. We'll have to wait and see. Obviously, the USC would love to pick up, you know, an elite pass rusher and defensive lineman in the spring portal window but as far as just straight recruiting goes hard to think that eric henderson won't land some really big fish from the south um in, in, in the coming cycle uh i'm seeing adam in the chat saying you know who's that pretty boy we don't need that um adam don't judge a book by its cover man you know like i i just care about what a guy does uh between the painted lines and he can look like an ogre he can look like a GQ model, I don't care as long as he makes plays and uh, stays out of trouble off the field. That's what matters. Well, and talking about Smith and that Wolfong 247 Sports article, this is my favorite quote, right? Just the defense, quote, just the defense they run, the whole uh, you know, the whole new staff coming in, Coach Hendy, that's how he pronounced it, from the NFL, he knows ball and learning from him this weekend. His coaching guys, like he's coached guys like Aaron Donald and, and those caliber guys. Who wouldn't want to be a part of it? Again, you're getting a little piece of the message that they're giving to these kids. They, they are selling, you know, hey, look, you, you want to come, you want to come and, and play for us. I've I've developed, you know, we didn't develop Aaron Donald, but Aaron Donald was a guy that he coached. And quite frankly, Aaron Donald speaks highly of him. So when he, you notice when he first got hired, he did that one selfie of him and Aaron Donald and posted that right on his Twitter. So um, he, yeah, he said that he's that they're very high on the list. I mean, obviously you're gonna be battling this kid. You're, obviously you're looking probably Georgia, right? In the South, there's gonna be lots of guys hitting it, but there's there's gonna be a, a great impression being made. And, and again, it's just star power of the coaching staff. 
We have not heard that. Usually we used to get coaches that were kind of leftovers. Now we have coaches on defense that are highly sought after and quite frankly may not be with USC very long, but I hope before they do head off to greener pastures, you know, promotions and NFL that they get this defense running like the way it should. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe for daily USC football content. Bye, Don.